Our busy lives can make a good night's sleep hard to come by. Feeling under the weather can make it worse and sometimes downright scary. WCCO's Jeff Wagner just experienced that firsthand and wondered, why do we have intense dreams when we're sick? Good question. Jeff learned what might influence them and how to sleep more soundly. I wasn't traveling during the computer meltdown earlier this month, but I did have several dreams when I was sick recently where I showed up to the airport hours after my flight departed, leading to a frantic and stressful situation. You've had a fever dream before? Yeah, I, I definitely have memories of being sick and um, having very vivid, scary dreams. And it usually involves clowns, many clowns. For me, it's always being in a building where I don't know where the exit is. These clowns are not the good kind. I'm not real enough for you. And it feels like somebody is chasing me. No matter your fever dream storyline, their appearance feels tied to whether you're sick. The fatigue dreams are more like more situational in most cases. Dr. Mark Rosenblum is a sleep psychologist helping people get over disorders that interrupt their ability to catch some Z's. Why do we have intense dreams when we're often sick? Well, there could be a couple of variables involved. Um, one has to do with um, something called REM sleep. That stands for rapid eye movement, a stage of sleep when dreams happen. So if someone's not getting enough sleep, the f they get what's called REM rebound on the following nights. And we have REM rebound, what we'll have uh, find is all our dreams tend to be very intense. I'm not a doctor, sure. but I do feel temperature has a lot to do with it, for me at least. During REM, we can't regulate our body temperature. So if you have a fever, the heat can impact how your brain processes thoughts. Sleep, you're out of consciousness, you're sweating. When you put these things together, the outcome is people have these really just crazy, wild dreams. Why can they often be stressful or negative? So for example, if I'm really stressful, and even if I do fall asleep, fine, oftentimes I'll find I'll have more stressful dreams. Mm -hmm. So I could be stressed out because I'm sick, and it's more so mm -hmm. that leading into the stressful dreams? Yeah, and that, that's what we suspect is the connection, yeah. We're uncomfortable, we're unhappy, so it, there's a carryover there, of course. How can we prevent or limit these types of dreams when we're sick? Well, well there's three ideas that I usually uh, convey to people. Number one, prioritize getting a good night's rest. A lack of sleep raises the chance for intense dreams. Secondly, try to relax before bed. Less stress equals less likelihood of a stressful dream. Lastly, keep cool when sleeping. Lowering your body temp, especially around your brain, can calm those dreams. Don't turn off at AC until you're up for good in the morning. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Nightmares are somewhat different than fever dreams. They are typically connected to a history of trauma in your life.